Thanks you. And look at Adam Rippon wearing his bronze medal. Congratulations, Adam. First time on Olympic ice. You nailed it. How does it feel to make a performance like that in your Olympic debut? Honestly, it feels incredible. You know, we had the um, competition early on Monday morning. So, good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. So, <laughs> like, I had the competition actually earlier today. Yeah. And um, I don't think I've ever been that nervous at 10 a.m. in my entire life. Um, but it, it felt great. I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I kept it together. You didn't look like it. You had oh, all God. the confidence, all the finesse, and, and that's part of why people on social media are now saying Rip On was robbed. You placed third. The two people who placed in front of you both fell. You did not. You had a near flawless performance. What do you think of your scores? I think we need to get those people who think that I was ripped off on a judging panel immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you were... maybe before the individual competition <laughs> there you go you still have some more competitions we can work on it for you okay you were the first openly gay u.s winter olympian mm -hmm. which is a pretty remarkable thing you were making headlines then you made further headlines when you spoke out about vice president mike pence i have a question for you you alluded that you might do this when the olympics are over would you sit down with mike pence and what would you say to him um you know what I personally don't have anything to say to Mike Pence. I'm very lucky because uh, legislation that he's pushed uh, hasn't affected my life at all. Um, I spoke out because there are people out there whose legislation, whose um, lives have been affected by um, change that he's tried to make. And so I spoke out for them because I, right now I have a voice and um, I think it's really important for me to use it. So that. That's a, conversa mm -hmm. a conversation for them. All right. You also have a teammate, Gus Kenworthy, who is also openly gay. The two of you are first in the Winter Olympics, and he was there cheering you on yeah. today, which was awesome. I loved seeing the post that the two of you had. What has his friendship meant to you in this Olympics? You know, um, we had been corresponding um, heading into the games, and we said that, okay, before opening ceremonies, we have to meet. So we finally met, and, um, you know, we got to walk in together and mm -hmm. I th that's you know we have a bond now that we'll have for the rest of our lives and um, he's such a sweetheart he's um, super nice super cute and just like you <laughs> <laughs> Stop it some more, right? Okay, so you have your individual competitions coming up later this week. Are you nervous? Are you excited? I mean, you look like you don't have a nerve in your body. It's hard to believe that you felt like you were going to throw up because you look so confident. What are you most looking forward to? Girl, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm at the Olympics. And, um, you know, I came to play. And I'm so excited to be here. And after this team competition and skating so well, um... I feel, you know, ready to show the world what else I have up my sleeve. We cannot wait to see it. I want to ask you this. When it's all done and you've finished cheering on your uh, comrades and you make it home, what's the first thing you're going to do? What's the first thing you're going to eat? How are you going to celebrate? I'm going to go to Target <laughs> and I'm going to get a bottle of um, Sauvignon Blanc Oyster Bay the, with the twist top. Yeah, I yeah. like it. That sounds like a plan. Uh -huh, immediately. <laughs> I'm free if you want a company. I you can come right over. I live like 15 minutes from LAX and we can just have a day. All right. Well, we it was such a pleasure, Adam, to yeah, have you, you with us. Congratulations. We hope you get some more hardware. Me too. All right. It's pretty heavy. I think he can do it, guys. Okay. <laughs> Amy, would you just give him a big old hug? Amy, would you give him a big hug for they us? Give hug. him a huge, huge hug. <laughs> Charming. Interview that I've ever seen. You say very charming. I know. Yesterday when he performed, he had uh, the, the newscast, the sportscasters right. cracking up. He does not hold back. I love it. He is so himself. And you're yeah. you're right. A star. We just witnessed <laughs> it. A star, a star is, is born. born. Yes. <laughs>